Hello, I'm Gabrielle Chana, Gail Cord Schuler, the author of Silver Skies. And I'm going to be answering some questions that um, that Brent told me he wanted me to answer. Uh, why did I write Silver Skies? Uh, I wrote Silver Skies to correct injustices. Um, you know, uh, the Germans got all the blame for World War II. And I just felt like because I studied church history and history that a lot of people that they don't teach in the public schools and all this history has been covered up I felt like it was important for people to know the truth about World War II that that the Germans should not have gotten all of the blame for World War II and so what I did was I wanted to write a story where the Germans were the heroines in an attempt to stop a holocaust in the United States and I felt, and from the research that I'd done, it seemed to me that the United States was headed in the same direction as Nazi Germany. So I, <clears throat> I wanted to write a book that, um, that showed that that's what's happening. And that the German people didn't deserve the bad rap that they got from World War II. So uh, what, I, what I did was... <clears throat> I studied German history and um, from the research I'd done with Dr. Well, with, with um, mostly from sources that are not, you don't get on the news media because the news media is literally controlled by the Jesuits and the Catholic Church. So you, you don't get the truth through the mainstream news media. So I used unconventional sources for most of my information. And I, I just decided to make the Germans the heroines because... I just didn't feel like they deserved all the bad rap they got. Because the real villains in Nazi Germany were the Jesuits. They were behind the Nazi Holocaust. They're the ones that told the Germans to put the Jews in the concentration camps. And a lot of people don't know that. So I thought, I'm going to let the... I said, why don't I write a novel and take do a different take? Nobody's ever written a novel where... The villains for the Nazi Holocaust is the Roman Catholic Church. I said, boy, would that be a different take. Nobody's ever done that. And it was, it's the truth. It really was. The, if the, 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 you know, at the Nur Nuremberg war crime trials, the Jesuits should have been there right along with Eichmann and Hitler and all those people. The Jesuits should have been there. And some of the Roman Catholic leaders should have been there at the Nuremberg war crimes trials. And I said, I'm going to correct an injustice. They should have been there along with the Nazis. Because they're the ones that told the Germans to set up the Nazi regime and to put the Jews in the concentration camps. Um, the Roman Catholic Church came out of World War II smelling like a rose. And they were as guilty as hell, man. I mean, they were even more culpable than the Germans. Because, see, if the Germans didn't do what they said, the Germans would have been killed. And that included some of the German leaders. So I feel like I needed to correct that. So I said, I'm going to do a different take. I'm going to... I said, I can see the, the direction this country's going in the United States. And, and something needs to be done about this. We're headed in the same direction as Nazi Germany. So I wrote Silver Skies to try to correct that. And also... The main reason I wrote it was because I had an awesome guy in my life at the time and I couldn't talk about it to anybody and that was Brent Spiner. So I had this awesome guy in my life and I wanted the world to know what an awesome relationship I had with him. So I tried to create a relationship in Silver Skies that mirrored my relationship with Brent Spiner. That was the main reason I wrote it. But as a sidekick, I also wanted to see if I could help out our country a little bit. Um, you might say, do you believe that you wrote an important book? Um, yes, I think I have written an important book. In fact, I would even go so far as to say that I think Silver Skies and my website, Catherine of King David, is probably the most important book ever written in the past hundred years. Uh, you may say, why is that? It's because I really believe that if I did not write Silver Skies, and if I didn't 
have the courage to write my memoir, which, as you can see, I haven't been able to go with a mainstream publisher because the Roman Catholic Church practically controls the entire publishing industry in the United States and the world. Uh, I really believe if I didn't tell my stories that we would not be in a free country right now. I think that my story, Silver Skies, would not be fiction. It, uh, it would be a nonfiction book that the concentration camps I depicted in there with the decapitated heads and the blood-filled tubes going to the heads and the... Um, I really believe that all of that would be reality. And and all of that stuff was based on real evidence. It wasn't... Uh, even though I wrote a fiction book, I used a lot of nonfiction in there. So it's really a blend between fiction and nonfiction. And the... Um, the concentration camps that I depicted, I really believe that's the way the concentration camps are going to be when they set them up. And that is the goal of the Jesuits, to set that up. In, in, in fact, as I was working on the book, they already had some concentration camps set up in Canada. And they were getting ready to set some up in this country. And I think I was the only thing holding them back. And they know that. I'm in their way. They have to get me out of the way. I'm in their way. And... They used Lori McBride as part of their strategy to get me out of the way. A big problem for them was my relationship with Brent Spiner because he was very famous at the time. So they couldn't allow that. And anyways, I, yes, I think I wrote a very important book. And unfortunately or unfortunately, if I did not write this book, I really believe we would not be in a free country right now that the Jesuits would have uh, taken over the United States, which is their goal, and they're very close to it. It's really scary. I think I'm the only thing holding them back, me and my writing and the men who love me. Because, well, see, the men who love me are men like Vladimir Putin, Brent Spiner, uh, Matthew McConaughey, Hugh Jackman. These are men of influence, and, and I'm getting, we, we're getting cooperation from Barack Obama. And President George W. Bush, for a while there, he was not cooperating with us. He was pretending like he was. And he fooled me because I voted for him. I'm actually, I've voted Republican my whole life. And he, uh, but you know what? I got to say something for him. In the past year, he's made up for uh, betraying me and Vladimir. And, and he's helping us out. And the Jesuits almost tried to kill him over that. And a lot of people think these presidents are all powerful and that, you know, that they, that they, they're all mighty U.S. presidents. You know, I, I've had a relationship with the president, with Vladimir Putin. Let me tell you, they're not that powerful. Then You know who's powerful? It's the Jesuit general. It's the black pope, man. That is the most powerful man on the planet. And he practically runs the planet. And if any head of state doesn't do what he wants, he'll kill him. He assassinated John F. Kennedy because John F. Kennedy tried to eliminate the Federal Reserve Bank. And I'm going to tell you, even though I'm, I've been Republican practically my whole life. I have a lot of respect for Barack Obama because Barack Obama has been very courageous in helping us fight these Jesuits. And uh, I've never voted Democrat before, but I'm seriously considering it for the next election because I really like Barack Obama for his courage, even if I don't agree with all of his positions. So all I can say is, you know, Yes, I've gotten a lot of trouble. I'm, I am answering the questions, but I'm doing it in my style. I can't do it in a regimented style. So I'm, I've got the questions in front of me here, and I'm answering them. Um, you might say, with all the trouble you've gotten, do you regret that you, rewrote, that you wrote the book? No, I don't regret it because, because I sleep good at night. I'm honoring a great love in my life by writing it, and I'm holding back a holocaust. And I sleep good at night. And you say, what about the fact that you won the Nobel Prize? Uh, good luck giving me the prize. Every time they tell me about that, I laugh. I think that is really funny. I'm honored that the Nobel Prize Committee is trying to give me the prize. I, I am. Um, I, I have the Nobel Prize in Literature and Medicine, though I haven't gotten a dime of Nobel Prize money yet. All I can say is good luck giving me the prize. And all I can say is... I have done my interview now, and I've answered the questions in my style. 